Hey, I am Dragonfly Jones, a.k.a. America is Musty. <laughs> I am the Jethro Jenkins, a.k.a. John. I'm Gardy B, and this is the Jenkins and Jones YouTube channel. We've got fresh YouTube exclusives dropping every week. Like and subscribe so you make sure you get everything in your feed. Welcome to Jenkins and Jones on the Volume Podcast Network. It is Saturday, April 20th, and it is Silly Billy Saturday. We are not talking any sports whatsoever. If you do not care that much about the NBA playoffs, this is the episode for you. You're in the right place. And we've got a great list of shit to talk about. Brains and cicadas and fucking... Hell yeah. It's going to be great. As always, Jenkins and Jones, hosted by Dragonfly Jones, a.k.a. Tyler. Hey, everybody. Have a good one. LeJethro Jenkins, a.k.a. John. What's that, Bubba's? I'm Gardy B, a.k.a. Mike. Motherfucking Mother fucking Mike. Mike. And we are... Pr- Produced as always by the lovely and talented Jackson Sapphire. What's up? What's up? Happy 420, everyone. <clears throat> oh, is it that? Is it? Oh, the episode wow. is dropping on 420. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Any plans? <laughs> you got some plans, Jackson? <laughs> I'm gonna be. At, I'm. I'm. Yeah, we're recording. Not recording this on Saturday, obviously. I'm gonna be at my cousin's wedding, where I don't think there will be any of that. But you know, just to, to anyone who celebrates. Oh uh, yeah, for sure, yeah. man. It's a holiday. Hell yeah. I thought Tyler, you smoking? Are you tapping it's, in, Tyler? It's, it's gonna be a Saturday. I smoke on Saturdays anyway. Like I told, <laughs> I told you, I'm, I'm like a weekend smoker, or a, there's something I want to watch on TV, or I'm gonna eat something good. Smoke. I smoke only like two, three times a week, but you know, yeah, Saturdays yeah, are for yeah, sure yeah. a day that I'm, 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 I'll put one yeah. in there. If it was a Tuesday, it's a, it's a wrap. There's none of that for you. Yeah, huh? yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not, just, I'm not gonna smoke man. just because it's a Tuesday. But if there's some other shit, like I said, if we go to like a new steakhouse or something, that I've been wanting to try some shit, then it's an occasion to spark. You feel me? What it does to food, like, has that yes. been studied? I haven't researched, I've been like looked into it. I want to look into that, bro, because what it does to food, like, bro, my nigga, dude, like, like yeah. it, it, it's, it's, it's truly special. Is That's, there I, research I, on that? Yeah, I, I think has, it activates the same be. part of your brain that finds pleasure in eating food, right? Like that's why it makes you happy and, and laid back. It it releases those same chemicals that come from eating food. So when you eat food, it's just like that shit is amplified. You know? I got it. Like, I got it. From men you, you, from, go from, ahead. Me, from men's health. It is actually because it leads to a heightened sense of smell, which is closely related to mm. taste. Uh, and sugary and fatty flavor profiles are enhanced because of the effect on your tongue or something. Yeah. What's weird is I don't feel like I smell better. Yeah, I don't either. Like I don't I don't notice that. I just feel like I taste better. Like I'm not sitting there without eating food thinking this smells way better than normal. But I will bite a fucking grape and fucking close my eyes and be overwhelmed by what earth has given us. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah, so, that's and, that's, that's, that's and the thing I is, it, it doesn't just make food taste better; it stimulates your appetite too. You smoke and you get hungry. Like, like right, that's right, something right. I keep having to to explain to Summer. She's like, "You want to lose weight? Just cut down on like drinking the beer and just smoke." I'm like, "Smoking is zero calories, yes, but I'm gonna get high and consume four thousand calories." You know what I'm saying? You it's feel a, me. Right? Like, it's it's no way around that. <laughs> and the rest of the food is optional. Like dinner when you're not high is optional, but (laughs) Uh, all right. Well, actually it's fitting that we're opening up talking about food because we were just having a discussion about bananas and the appropriate way to eat one (laughs) before we started recording. (laughs) So John explain this. So I was eating a banana and I, I was eating it. Like if you're holding a banana and you point the tip towards the sky and you peel it down and then the peel is over your hand, almost like a sword. Like the covering yeah. on like a on like a you know you like unsheathe the banana in like, some, a yeah. Delu, like, like, like a Florida like like a Florida Lee like 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 the New Orleans Saints yes. logo and shit yes. yeah. Yeah. yeah yeah is that yeah. is that Tyler and Jackson is that how you also eat a banana I I don't really fuck with bananas bro. Oh, like, I forgot not, that. Yeah, I'm, I'm not really a banana dude. What, what was the reasoning? What was the reason? I, I, just, I just don't like the I just don't like the taste. I feel like a banana isn't a fruity fruit. It's like sugary, creamy where. Other fruits are tarty, fruity. You know what I'm saying? Are y'all following me on that? I don't feel like yeah, I'm like, following, like, yeah, a, yeah, brighter, yeah, like following. a brighter flavor yeah. profile. Yeah, right, yeah. right. Yeah, 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 that yeah. is how I eat a banana. Quick pause. I feel like we last time we talked about this, I asked the same question. Do you, when you say the, the tip or the top of the banana, is that the part where, where the stem like connects to the other bananas? Yeah, yeah, yeah right. Because some people yeah, eat it, yeah. eat it upside down, flip it, and eat it. No, how do you peel they, it? I, that I swear way, they, how do I don't do this. I don't do this. It seems very hard to peel, but I know people who who do this and swear by it because apparently oh, they hold it like a popsicle stick. 
Sort of. Just like the just to hold the banana, but from the, the other end. But apparently this doing peeling it that direction eliminates those like stringy parts on the banana. Wow. So that's why people do it. Maybe I don't I'm just a way. nasty motherfucker, but I like the stringy parts. <laughs> 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 no, for real? You don't you don't you don't you like to eat those stringy parts? I don't know. Yeah, like, like part of the peel? The stringy parts. Yeah. I don't crazy, care. crazy. No, I mean, I, 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 how do you I, I, how do they, I, how do they peel it, Jackson? How do you, I don't know. Like I don't know. I feel like it's just long like fingernails or something. Maybe, I, maybe, maybe. I don't know. I don't. Again, I I've feel never like you'd done. You have to mush the banana. I've never up done to it. Peel the ass end of it. Probably. I feel like you're 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 taking an L on the first bite in order to to save yourselves from the strings. Hmm. I I used to feel like. Do you ever notice that the end of bananas are like that little? I don't know if they exist, they exist anymore. That little black hard part of it. So what I do is instead of eating it in the way that y'all eat it, I just break it off, like the right at that it black right close to the part where the black yeah. part starts, and then eat it that way. You so I don't have any out. peel on it. I put a banana the out because I want to. Also, I heard something about spiders a long time ago. Spiders and bananas. They kind of tweaked me out. Um, so I like take the banana out. Look it up. Look it up. I think there's something about like spiders and bananas. You know what I mean? I will, I will, it's the Silly Billy episode. Spiders. Yeah, I think and there was bananas. like something in spiders and bananas. Like, I, oh, I'm I, looking maybe, at a picture of a banana spider. I'd rather not see. Oh that. no, that's not. Yeah, that's not. it. I've seen one of them too. But uh, there's something about I, 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 maybe it was a, a, a meme, but it could have it could have been a lie. But uh, it tweaked me out, so I just started peeling it that way. Do spiders it's, live in bananas? For decades now, there have been urban legends going around that spiders were laying eggs in banana flowers making for an unpleasant surprise when you peeled open a banana. This isn't true and is not possible. Well, they got me. Just like the fucking <laughs> earth being four feet from the moon that time. <laughs> Once again, brother. <laughs> I feel like we grew up in urban legends, though. Like, I still, like, if you still, to this day, if you ask me, if you put a gun to my head and said, do yellow Skittles make your nuts smaller? I would not have an answer for you. I would not have an answer for you. <laughs> no, I, knew. I, I told you, bro, they got it right with the, with the Skittles have pork in it, bro. That was the one they nailed. That is yeah. an indisputable fact. Did y'all hear the whole Dorito? Had bat poop in it with the, no. the back at the y'all circles. No, no, yeah, it, it, that's it, crazy. Like, yeah, but there was an ingredient on it like guana, guana side. Guano is like bat poop, yes. But Doritos have like guana side or some shit like that. That's kind of like the chemical composition of, of bat poop, but not exactly bat poop. This so is so man made <laughs> bat poop. But man not made bat poop? Chemi- man made chemically replicated bat poop, but not, yeah, poop, yeah, right? Like the. I don't know. What, it's, what, it's what is the benefit of that? Uh, anyway, but I, I, my, I was more like Mountain Dew and shit like that, where I don't want to eat Mountain Dew because I know it's gone. You know what I'm saying? Did you know? Was it make? Did it make you sterile, or is it make sure your your your, yeah, your the, penis smaller what, what, or some shit? Yellow, yellow forty dye or something. Yellow, yeah, 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 bro. Okay, according to <clears throat> mybatguy.com, a bat removal and prevention uh, prevention website, uh, the confusion <laughs> is due in part to terminology. There are common ingredients in many food products called guanine, which sounds and looks a lot like guano, which is a term used for bat feces. Guano and guanine are often the root of much of the confusion because of this uh, similarities. Uh, they are not related. Uh, okay. Okay. Yeah. Got Maya another wants, one. Maya wants me to. Yeah, we're going to we're going to go through all the herbal lunches. Maya wants me to bring her stuff right now on the podcast. Love that. What's up, Maya? Say hi, tell us we tell her we said hi. Hi. She's wearing a cupcake beanie. That's her signature. Love that. Accessory. That shit hard, though. That shit hard. Yeah, that shit if this isn't a good that, enough pitch to subscribe to the YouTube channel, there's no better pitch. <laughs> that shit go uh, crazy. What were okay? So then, what were y'all asking about, Jackson? You were talking about how to eat something else when I when we hopped. Yeah, on. I was just thinking about it because I was eating a, a. I had a sandwich for lunch, like a oh, sub yeah, style yeah. sandwich that is like you know, it's like two like a long. It's a long sandwich that's connected on one end and open on the other, which got me thinking. <laughs> oh, oh shit! What's up, Mike? <laughs> cat's name again, Mike? The cat's name is Brisket. brisket. What's up, Brisket? That's why Brisket looks nervous because he saw Tyler. <laughs> <laughs> Got a book, good bark on that brisket right there. I tell you. <laughs> but I was just thinking about like sub style sandwiches and tacos, and how like the way do right handed people eat them differently than left handed people, and like how you eat. And I was asking, and I was saying, I like when I pick up a taco, I pick it up with my right hand, turn my head, and sort of eat it sideways, which I feel You're like is relatively though, right? common. No, I'm right handed. Oh, okay. You and so me, me are, you, Mike, I'm the, yeah, yeah. the only two left handers. Okay, okay. 
but Tyler's Tyler, left-handed spiritually, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but Tyler doesn't yeah, eat tacos Tyler. that way. He, I don't no, even I, know. I, I just eat them straight on, dog. Like I don't do the head tilt, and I'm I'm here to get down to business. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, so <laughs> does that work? <laughs> so show me, show me your form. Yeah, because that that, that I, was I, interesting. I just hold form. the motherfucker like this and just like this. Is like that, you hold it from the bottom or from the top? You can't eat it. You can't eat the bottom. Is crazy. You can't eat the hard shell. From the top, you don't hold it from the top. From the well, if it's a hard taco, if it's like a hard taco with ground beef or some shit, maybe. But even oh, a soft yeah. taco, you don't. The soft, so, the soft tacos, no, no, soft tacos. I wrap the motherfuckers up and I like pinch it to where it's like closed, and I just eat oh, them you like turn it into almost. a taquito. Yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. I do the same thing just to try and keep the juices. You know what I mean? I don't want the juices. But the thing that I was thinking about with the sandwich yeah. is so this the I, sandwich. I, I, I was eating, my shit to the side, bro. I'm, I, I don't do the want same the juices thing. to fall either. Yeah, but on a sandwich, a sub sandwich, if it's cut in half, so there's two. Parts, two halves of the sandwich, both like the, if I'm looking at it and the opening is facing me, the right of those two sides, you can sort of eat it like a taco. Mm -hmm. But the left of those two sides, if I was going to use my right hand, I'd have to, to start at the ass the, end, the, 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 the wrong end. end. And yeah, so yeah. in that situation, I always how, how are you eating it? You'd start in the middle and go left. And I, and I make direct eye contact. No, I eat it like Tyler used to taco. I make direct eye contact oh. with the front of the sandwich. Straight. <laughs> this nigga eats it like a cartoon, bro. <laughs> <laughs> like like Shaq. Right. He's stuffing that motherfucker like this. Bro, I, 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 I think if, if I, I have, I a, if I have a foot long sandwich, sandwich yeah. I will hold yeah. the whole thing in front of me. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my gosh. That's yeah. amazing. I, I'll, use, I'll use two hands, but I don't, I don't eat it like flat like that you know like i'll hold the back part and the top mm -hmm. part <laughs> <laughs> this is not great video there's 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 some really photoshopable video clips i think of all four of us at this point maybe we should move on to another topic <laughs> john's talking about really cranking that sandwich <laughs> I'm a real uh, eater, nigga. You know what I'm saying? You YouTube.com slash at Jake is a joke. No, no, brother. Not this one. Not this one, family. <laughs> the 82 game preseason is in the books, and it's finally time for the real season. Don't miss out on any of the NBA playoff action at DraftKings Sportsbook an official sports betting partner of the NBA. From the playing tournament through the finals, DraftKings Sportsbook has you covered with same game parlays, live betting, odds boosts, and so much more. I still feel like the Nuggets are the team to beat this year, but some of these young squads might make some noise. Download the DraftKings Sportsbook app and use code Jenkins. New customers bet $5 and get $200 in bonus bets instantly. That's code Jenkins only on DraftKings. The crown is yours. We're talking about uh, cicadas. And uh, so there is about to be a rare once in several centuries invasion because like all of the different cicada species are coming out at the same time this year, right? But here's some things about cicadas. Everyone was talking about the, uh, the STD fungus, the zombie fungus and all that. We talked about that on the pod a little bit. Mm -hmm. Have y'all, are y'all aware of cicada P? No. No. Cicadas are the strongest urinators in the animal kingdom. They what? pee. What? They the pressure pee. or smell? Now, like, what go is, on, Mike. Go on, Mike. Or yeah. acidity. Yeah. How are we defining? Yeah. Yeah. Here? What? What? Yeah. 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 Cicadas pee two to three times stronger and faster than elephants or humans. Uh, so we're talking they, about like PSI here. Is is that? What yeah. We're like the, the amount of okay. the water flow pressure. rate. Yeah. The flow rate tops out at ten feet. Per second, they have a what? muscle. They have a muscle. Quote from the article: They have a muscle that pushes the waste through a tiny hole like a jet. Oh yeah. <laughs> but the problem is, as they all come out at once, then that's you have these billions of these things peeing at the same time. And he said he this researcher found this out in the Amazon because he happened on a tree the locals call a quote weeping tree. Because no. liquid was constantly flowing down like the plant oh, was crying. No. It was a thick covering of no. cicada pee. <laughs> so no, you're, no, you're no. saying that, that with trillions, potentially, of cicadas in the United States this summer, that large parts of the country are going to be, gonna be under like a high-pressure shower of cicada pee? Tarp up, baby. But, oh, bro, Tyler, you live in this area where there's a ton of them motherfuckers, right? Yeah. Am I tripping? Yeah, yeah. like dog. And those motherfuckers are out every year. Ain't no seven year shit. You hear that cha -cha 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 every fucking summer. I, I hear love dog. that shit. I don't know yeah. why y'all. That shit sounds beautiful to me. But uh, that's like nigga. 
Like who 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 did the who did the 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 the, the who did the science behind this? Like nigga, you know what I mean? That's crazy. <laughs> Finding out the PSI <laughs> of of cicada pee. Ten That's feet insane. per second is hard for my brain to comprehend for an animal of that size. Yeah, I'm those motherfuckers are generate. those motherfuckers are menaces. They are here this summer to fuck and pee on everything. Like bro, like <laughs> those motherfuckers are unruly, dog. <laughs> Uh, Ty, they, Ty, you you said you've never seen one. I've never seen a live one. I see the fucking shells every fucking, shells. and I hear I'm them saying, all you, the time. But you I don't haven't think I've seen, seen like one. the big the shit that looks like a big ass fucking. Uh, I mean, I've seen big pictures ass fly. of them. Yeah, I've seen pictures. Of them. I've just never seen one in person. The first and time I, see, I saw like I said, one I see was the shells at, all the fucking time. The first time I saw one was at Mother Price's preschool, nigga, at four years old, and everybody ran, nigga. That shit is like an alien. You know, steroided up fly, nigga. That's just crazy. And they, they're ever, fast as shit. Have you have y'all ever seen a potato bug? Uh uh-uh. uh. No. Okay, I'm gonna look that on. shit up, bro. Yeah, let me no, man. Potato bug I, that's we saw one something. of the, we saw one of these potato bugs in our backyard a couple years ago. And I oh, I'm thinking of something else. This thing is Char and I were in a horror movie. That is huge. It's huge. It's huge. And this is not in it, this is not in the boonies. This is this was at a house in Long Bro, Beach. Don't they call them just like Mormon crickets or some shit too? Or? They, they they have different names. So yeah, I heard in the south they're called Mormon crickets or something crickets. Yeah. But but for for like, like what we had heard here, people, I because I put a picture up on Facebook. You know, we were twenty four or something, and that was like the height of communication. And I was like, what the fuck is this? We, I didn't even, I almost didn't even feel right killing it because it was so fe- juicy, bro. Like that, all that, like that motherfucker got a spirit. You know what I'm saying? Yes. Like it's so big. <laughs> like you know what I mean? Like nigga, now that you say juicy, it was, it was like it was like this big, bro. It was it so. Bro, big. I, I look, it's looks as big as a palm. That's insane, yeah. G. Like you could put yeah. that on a scale and it, it would register in some way. It seems like right. <laughs> yeah. Crazy. Now that you say juicy, it does look exactly like Jerusalem something that. Cricket. that that uh, okay. that uh, Timon and Pumbaa would eat in The Lion King. They're like oh, tossing these like juicy yeah. crickets into their mouths. <laughs> That's exactly what it looks like. Yeah, Jerusalem crickets, potato bugs, the nastiest looking shit in the world. The person who did the research on the cicadas, uh, to give credit where it's due, is <laughs> well, uh, he, I'm I'm losing. Who did the science? Who the science? got who got pe- cicada pea rained on them for scientific purposes? I Georgia... think it was the people in that whatever that village or where, wherever he was at, right? <clears throat> no, it's a Georgia Tech biophysics professor named Saad Bamla, and he said that uh, apparently they spend basically their whole life drinking. Is and they they have the way their body is constructed. They have a muscle that goes all the way up to the top of their head that allows them to pull in liquid, and so that's why they're like because they're drinking like the inner liquid from a tree, not just like moisture on the surface. So then they pull it in, and then that's why it gets shot out with such force. Nasty. Well, damn. Sounds very extraterrestrial to me, brother. Nothing is more disgusting than life on Earth. <laughs> Just like it truly. <laughs> Don't make no sense. <laughs> All right. Here's a weird human fact, uh, and I've got this from uh, Michio Kaku's The Future of the Mind, which came out a few years ago, so I think it's we're now in the present of the mind from this book. I'm not sure. Um, are y'all familiar with split brain consciousness? No, never okay. heard of it. So most of the like left brain, right brain shit is like kind of pseudosciencey bullshit, right? Like mm-hmm. personality tests, like, oh, I'm so mm-hmm. right brain, you know, like that kind of stuff. It's not like super, super real, but, uh, there are two hemispheres in the brain and they do do two completely different things. And the different hemispheres of the brains do control the things that where people are like, I have a left brain personality, right brain personality, whatever. Um, what they have discovered, because for a time, one way of treating people who had epilepsy was that they were separating the halves of the brain. When was and this? What, uh, the 80s, I think. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> but what they found was... Uh, that even though the br- two different hemispheres of the brain are different, they work. They do communicate with each other to coordinate things. And so this is the this is the part of this that absolutely freaked me out the fucking most. Uh, Doctor Sperry wrote that each hemisphere is indeed a conscious system in its own right, perceiving, thinking, remembering, reasoning, willing, and emoting at a characteristically human level. 
and both the left and right hemisphere may be conscious simultaneously in different, even in conflicting, mental experiences that run along in parallel. So as they were studying people who the two halves of their brain were not connected, what they would do is they'll give you glasses to where because your eyeballs are connected directly into that hemisphere of the brain, they would give you glasses so they would cover up one half and then the, your right eye, say, would see everyone in the room stand up and everyone would stand up. And then they would take it, you know, they'd take it off and then they would ask the people, why did you stand up? And the left brain, which controls speech, would answer, oh, I was, uh, I was going to go talk to my wife. It would invent, they would invent a reason why they had stood up without having formed the short-term memory of that they were told to stand up. Can, okay, That's explain good. this to me. But, okay, what, what, how did that happen? I don't really understand what Mike co- said. I, how them I do want to note that he said, he said yeah, yeah. doo-doo earlier, but that's all. What's that? I said duty? <laughs> you said doo-doo. I said doo-doo. doo-doo. Okay. <laughs> so your brain, if the two hemispheres aren't connected, your I understand right that. eye okay, okay. is connected to the right hemisphere, your left yeah. eye is connected to the left hemisphere. Now, short-term okay, okay. memories they- form in one part of the brain, not the other part of the brain, right? Okay, okay. And so okay, if okay, they're giving okay. a command to the part of the brain that does not form short-term memories people would read it and stand up because they saw the instruction to do it. And then they would not know why they stood up. So the dominant, the other part of the brain that controls speech would literally just make up a reason like, Oh, I had to go to the bathroom or, Oh, I was about to go check my phone, but it's like completely not like with no recollection of no, 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 no. This dude just showed you a written message that said, go ahead and stand up. There's an even crazier. There's an even crazier thing where they did an experiment. Uh, it's difficult to talk to the different parts of the brains because only one half of your brain controls speech. So mm-hmm. the way that they did this experiment was they would ask someone, okay, so the speech center are located in the left brain. They would show a question to the left brain. The person would answer it, ver- answer it verbally. They would show a question to the right brain and ask the person to do Scrabble tiles to answer the question. So they asked a kid who was graduating college what he wanted to do after he graduated. His, uh, his left brain said he wanted to be an architect mm-hmm. and his right brain said he was going to be a race car driver. <laughs> the right brain needs to grow the fuck up. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> no, but no, but how, so how did they separate the brains in that way? What was the, what's, how, how did they do that? I mean, I imagine all four of us could, uh, if you gave us an open skull, figure out a way to. <laughs> is, 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 this the, is this the type of shit that like hypnotists exploit with their shit? Like it sounds like it, bro. It's, a, it's like a specific, this is like a specific group of people who has a medical treatment because it, it was actually effective when they would split people's brains that they would stop having seizures if mm. they were, if they were epileptic. So like. Because part of it was the electrical impulses going back and forth too fast between the two halves of the brain. That's what was causing it. Um, so I don't think it's, it has to do with hypnotists and stuff. It's just a like, I don't know, I'm endlessly fascinated by the brain, but isn't that fucking weird that you sort of have two different, like what we think of as ourselves, most of that comes from our brain, right? And your brain is actually sort of two competing things in your head at any given moment. It's just that the left brain is like, kind of in control <laughs> of, of the right brain. I kind of feel my brain arguing inside though. Like <laughs> that's a real, it's a real thing though. That's what I can, that's I what's can so kind of feel like, uh, but going back and forth about a lot of thoughts, you know what I mean? So yeah, yeah that's, and crazy. I think, that's crazy. And I think everyone could relate to that, but I don't think most people would, I don't think you would un- like, you it wouldn't, wouldn't occur think to that most if people. If the brain was separate, that yeah. one brain will grow up to be a race car driver right. or fighting for that their entire <laughs> life. And the other one would just be an accountant. Like, you know right. what I mean? I'm accepting, you know, you don't think that, you know what I mean? Yeah. You can kind yeah. of feel, you, you, you can kind of feel the differences and arguments in your brain or whatever, but you don't think yeah. they're two totally different consciousness. Uh, if someone dies, what happens? Does one hemisphere of their brain go to heaven and the other go to hell? I don't know the answer to that question. <laughs> Your right brain is a motherfucker. Your left is brain it? is a great person. Like you. <laughs> That's crazy. Anyway. The brain is fascinating, bro. I'm gonna be. I'll have so a this. Lot of so this was a surgical. This, this was a surgical thing that was done for people that had epilepsy, right? Yes. And then they would do research after the surgery. Because the people initially seemed normal. Like so, a lot of what 
a lot of neuroscience came from some of the first people who, and you guys have probably heard of like Phineas Gage or something, but people who would have brain damage to a specific part of their brain, and then they would have completely different personalities. For and sure. that was kind yeah, of the yeah. first time scientists mm-hmm. were like, oh, is this a physical thing? We thought consciousness lived in your like chest or whatever. You know what I mean? Like mm-hmm. is the brain, but that's really, there yeah. was not really your an heart understanding decides, of it. decides, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, people, right, but right. that's where that language right. comes from. That's what people truly believed was that, you wow, know, and we wow, still do that. Wow. Like, oh, what does what your head say versus what does your heart say or whatever? But it's like, no, it's just all stuff. It's in just your one head. side is fighting the other, brother. And and you know, you, I mean, it's all the brain. Sp- and as for as like precious as we think of ourselves or humanity or whatever as, yeah, like if you get tapped in the wrong spot hard enough, you know what I mean? Like you're going to look at your wife and be like, the fuck are you? Like, you know, you be, but that's what, that's what I'm with Phineas Gage. He was like a normal dude and he turned into kind of a psycho, you know, after he got uh, stabbed in the brain or whatever. So anyway, that's what, that's, that's what I, that's what I'm, I have I'm not familiar this. with that story. Phineas Gage? Tyler, you know not, Phineas not Gage. Familiar. Haven't we talked no, about it on the pod? I'm not hit to him either. I remember that story from psychology class in high school, but... Okay, here we go. Phineas Gage was an American railroad construction foreman remembered for his improbable survival of an accident in which a large iron rod was driven completely through his head, destroying much of his brain's left frontal lobe, and for that injury's reported effects on his personality and behavior over the remaining 12 years of his life, uh, in which he he had a completely different personality... Um, and was like, went from being like a kind of a nice, sweet guy to being like abusive to his wife, um, to like, you know, mistreating women in particular and just being, you know, and so that was like kind of the first time people were like, well, why would that happen based on our understanding of God gave you a soul and the soul lives in the entire body? Like, well, so then why would getting a spike through your head turn you into a wife beater? You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. And uh, and that was uh, that, that was sort of when it started. Like, well, hold on. What if you? And I'm sure there's all kinds of horrific experiments. But it's like, well, what if you stab someone through this part of their brain? Like, <laughs> like what would they do? And that was mm-hmm. kind of the first time people started to understand. Like, oh, okay, this part of the brain controls speech. This part of the brain controls imagination. Like, whatever, you know? Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. Right. I, have y'all have y'all ever heard that story about how they brought Mel Blank out of his coma by asking him like? If Bugs Bunny and Tweety Bird were there and he did their voices. Y'all yes. That yeah, story? yeah. 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 Tell that story if Jackson does not heard that story. Yeah. Well, Mel Blank. What'd the, you the, just the, say? There's a Mel podcast Blank. on it. There's a podcast Mel, on yeah. it. Really Mel Blank, the, the, the creator of Looney Tunes, he got into like a car accident and was in a coma for weeks and nothing they could do. Th- th- there wasn't anything they could do to like get him to be responsive when they were talking to him. And one day a doctor just came in there like, what's up, Bugs Bunny? And he replied, eh, what's up, Doc? And, yeah. and he would re- he would only talk in, in the voice of like Looney Tune characters. That was the only way he would respond. Like, like they'd ask him how you're doing, Mel, and get nothing. They'd be like, you know, where's Tweety Bird at? And he'd be like, I thought I thought I'd put it that. Like, it's just fascinating, what? bro. Yeah. Oh my God. But there's all kinds of like, if you re-examine history, this way, like I know we had a conversation about how wild it was that someone did a book on all the drugs that Adolf Hitler was on. Right. Like if you re-look at history through our scientific understanding of things, that's what like speaking in tongues was, was this like people were getting bitten by a certain snake or whatever that would like cause the language part of their brain to inflame. And so they were Mm -hmm. like speaking, you know, there's like all of these actual scientific underpinnings to this stuff that we've been thinking about as a species for a couple of thousand years. It's Mm -hmm. like, I don't know. That's fascinating. But yeah, Egyptians, the reason they pulled the brain out of the nose was because they thought it was like in the way, Mm -hmm. you know what I mean? It was just like, we got to get all the useless shit out of here. Like (laughs) (laughs) get the brain out, get the, (laughs) You know, y'all know they used to drill holes in your skull if you had a headache in ancient yeah. Egypt, right? Blood, yeah, blood. yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fire. <laughs> <laughs> That's vibe. fire. That is, is the fire. funniest response possible <laughs> to what he just said. There is nothing funnier on the planet that could have been said in response to what he just said. That's fire. <laughs> what a vibe. He heard of a drill. Uh, drilled in the head. The man was like, that's fire. <laughs> I gotta get more headaches. <laughs> no, I'm just you're like, you're oh, like, shit. you're, you're, you're like wincing. And the guy looks at you with the drill. You're like, I'm fine. I'm, I'm doing good. fine. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have a headache. I promise you. Uh, all right. That's all the time we got. Anyone else have anything for Silly Billy Saturday? No, man, we had a lot of fun here today. 
Enjoy yeah. that. Learned a lot too, brother. For sure. <laughs> What's his name? Phineas Gage? Phineas? Phineas? Phineas. Phineas. Shout out to old Phineas Finney. Gage, man. Old, old Fitty. Old, old Fitty, Fitty fuck nigga. that old Fitty. Old, old Fitty <laughs> fuck nigga, you know? He fucked around and... <laughs> old Fitty fucked around and found out. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll be back Sunday night live on YouTube, youtube.com slash at Jenkins and Jones for a post-playoff game uh, reaction show, and then that'll be in the Monday pod feed. Uh, So come hang out with us on YouTube. Ask us questions. uh, Leave some comments. We'll see you all then. Bye. Bye. Bye.